what's going on webheads welcome back to another video on the spider pops channel and today we have a bit of a filler episode because we are still waiting on our pops from emerald city comic-con to arrive at gamestop because we have two of those pops pre-ordered there so we are going to wait to do that one for hopefully later this week and that should be a pretty cool video but we are actually going to be going to our local comic book shop today and see if they have any cool new spidey pops or any cool new pops in general because i don't get to go there very often i thought it be pretty cool to make a video of so maybe they have some cool spider-man mystery minis or something that we can pick up while we're there but we'll just have to see once we actually arrive at the comic book store but yeah hopefully we see you guys at the end of the video and yeah we are probably just going to head on over there and we'll see you guys once we get to the comic book store here it is first thing in the morning this is one of my favorite times of all time all right we made it to our local comic book shop maybe they got some cool spider-man pops and minis inside Pretty cool. They got some old Frozen Pops right here. That's brand new from 2014. They got like the original Olaf from Frozen. And they have a whole bunch of old Frozen Pops down here that are kind of neat. And then down here they actually have the Flocked Blue from Tailspin, which is pretty awesome. They got a bunch of really awesome Disney Pops here that we can hopefully go over. I have not seen any new Spider-Man ones yet, but we will see if we find any. It's pretty cool right there. They got some Raven Pops from Toys R Us and the new season of Fortnite actually just dropped and there's a brand new Raven skin that is pretty cool. So that is kind of interesting to see today. And then over here, they got a whole bunch of Walking Dead Pops. I actually have that Bicycle Girl right there, which is pretty cool. My sibling got that for me a while ago, so that is pretty neat. And they have this Daryl Dixon with the A on it. And I swear this, there's one scene from The Walking Dead that gets stuck in my head every time and it's this one easy street scene when Daryl is like being tortured by Dwight right there. And man, it's not even a real song, but it always gets stuck in my head. It's so pretty rough, but we see that pop right there, which is still pretty cool. Pretty cool right here. They got the 2019 Shared Convention Limited Edition Poly Pigeons. You don't see those very often, so that's pretty neat. Well, that's interesting how neat that is. Pretty cool right here. They got the Queen News of the World. Pretty cool. I haven't seen a whole bunch of these pop albums out. And they're in like a pretty cool. This is like a huge pop stack that they put them in. So I thought I would go over that really quick for the video. All right, down here we got some Queen Pops. That's pretty interesting. The other day I was actually talking about how the zombie She-Hulk look a lot like this pop of Freddie Mercury with the hairstyle at least. So yeah, it's pretty funny that we just ran into that pop today. They have a bunch of the boys pops right here. I actually have not watched that show because this guy right here is a jerk. I saw one scene about it and I, I'm, I'm not a fan of that guy right there. Homelander, he's, I don't like him. But yeah, that is still pretty cool. They got some Mystique Pops and Nightcrawler Pops down here. It's pretty neat. And they have the Target exclusive Patina Captain America that we don't get to see too often. And a bunch of really cool Deadpool Pops that is pretty cool. Here's a bunch of the Wetmore Forest Pops that they have in this comic book shop. That is pretty neat. They got a Funko Limited Edition Big Al for Funko's 20 years. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen that pop out anywhere. All right, and right here there is some Spider-Man Far From Home mystery minis we might have to pick up for the channel. I actually sent one of these to Pop Fits HQ for one of the collectible shops that we were a part of. So that is pretty cool right there. We might have to pick up all four of these. They actually have an MJ down here right now. That's pretty cool. Already out of box. I think that's the one that actually Pop Fits HQ got in their video. But uh, yeah, we're probably just going to pick up all of these and then probably head out of here and open these up when we get back actually have a poster of Spider-Man 55 right there, so that's pretty neat, but we're actually going to be walking out the box as well as the last of their Spider-Man Far From Home mystery minis, so that is pretty cool. We're just going to go back to the studio and show you guys what we got out of these awesome mystery minis. Huh, who would have thought that that would end up being so neat, but it ended up being pretty neat after all. Okay. <laughs> We actually managed to come away with four of their last Spider-Man Far From Home Mystery Minis, so that is pretty cool. And we got to actually take home the Spider-Man Far From Home Mystery Mini case, so that is pretty neat that they were actually able to let us take that. But yeah, we just got four of these really awesome Mystery Minis to open up, and it should just be really cool. I think we're just going to get right into it. Also, a side note, before we get going too far, this video is actually coming out a little late, so by the time most of you are watching this, it is probably going to be Wednesday morning. So if you guys had an amazing Tuesday yesterday, and today is actually the last day of Stop in Jail, which is 17 days of Pops, Pets, and Prizes. So make sure you guys tune into their channel. They'll be having a live stream coming out today around 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So make sure you guys are tuning in around there, because it is their last day of their awesome 17 days of Pops, Pets, and Prizes. They did a 
phenomenal job. I had a lot of their videos playing while I was editing in the background and the Irish music that they put to it was definitely a bop. But John and Allison are just really awesome people in the Funko community and are a huge reason why our channel has grown to where it has today. So I've definitely been tuning in and we've been writing some pretty interesting messages in the comments for who we think should win and I, I i just i just can't believe it uh, there's no reason that captain america should have lost to hulk hogan i believe that that, that it just makes no sense like that is our red white and blue super soldier and we we just can't be disrespecting him like that but that is just a a little bit of my input but we've been leaving some pretty interesting comments on who we think will win in their pop tournament brackets and it's just been a really entertaining time for this past month so make sure you guys check out their live stream today at five o'clock p.m pacific standard time because it should be a really awesome end to their amazing series but yeah we are just going to open up this one right here and hopefully it's one that we don't already have i'm not sure if i actually opened up any of these before i have a few spider-man mystery minis up there there and i can't remember if that was a homecoming mystery mini right there that spider-man that we have up there or if it was a far from home one I believe that actually we do have one of the Far From Home ones. We have the 1 in 6 Spider-Man already. So any other ones from that? Oh yeah, we also have the 1 in 72 Maskless Peter. So that is pretty cool. So hopefully we can open up some new ones right here. Here. We actually sent one over to Popvids HQ for our collector's swap that we were a part of a little while ago and they actually got a really cool MJ and there we go the packaging is open just like that. And first up we actually got one I believe we do not have this one and we got ourselves a Peter Parker with just his backpack going on the school trip and this is really cool we do not have this mystery mini right here make sure you get a good close up as we are talking about it but this is just a really awesome one I believe on the back of it it kind of looks like there's a spider-man glove hanging out so that is a kind of neat detail but super awesome mystery mini that we were able to pull first up let's just set this guy right here and we'll get into the next one all right got the plastic off of this one and there it goes and really not crisp box opening on the mystery minis these are this is always the most tragic part about opening mystery minis is you never know if you're going to get a crisp box opening or not but doesn't matter we'll just toss that aside as well and this one feels a little bigger let's see what this one is right here and this one is pretty cool this is one of the bigger ones that i believe they have and right here we, i really love the marvel bobbleheads these are just so cool they definitely are like the best like dashboard bobbleheads for sure just the way they bobble is just on, honestly amazing everyone they make but we actually got ourselves hydro man i believe which is actually a 1 in 72 that is pretty cool we pulled a 1 in 72 hydro man right there so that is pretty sick we we got ourselves one of the rare ones and i believe actually that is both of the 1 in 72s so we actually have both of the 1 in 72s that go in this set we got the hydro man and we have the maskless night monkey peter parker but this is just really sick i'm actually super stoked about pulling this i can't believe we actually got a 1 in 72 out of these last four mystery minis that is some pretty good mystery mini luck so far and we'll just set this guy next to the peter parker which is pretty cool because this guy is actually introduced around the same time that peter parker is wearing this outfit during the movie near the very start of it when they're on their school trip so that is pretty fitting that we have pulled the peter and now the hydro man right after and all right let's just get into this next one right here we're gonna need to pull out the unboxing knife again to get the plastic off that one was not too bad of a box opening just a little bit of tear on the top of the box but we'll toss that aside and hopefully we do not get a double right here and oh sweet 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 all right so we already actually have this one and this is actually a pretty cool one but this is the one in six spider-man where he's putting up his peace sign that's just a really awesome Spider-Man Mystery Mini. This is actually one of the first Spider-Man Mystery Minis that I was actually able to add to my collection. So I am pretty stoked. Not too disappointed. Anytime we get a Spider-Man one, it's never going to be a bummer, even if we have that one. Because Spider-Man is just wicked cool. Awesome. Wicked cool. You can never be disappointed about that. We'll put down this one in six Spider-Man holding up the peace sign. And we'll open up this very last Mystery Mini right here. All right, this one is actually kind of nice because we don't need the unboxing knife because some of the Mystery Minis, for some reason, some of them have like a cutout at the top of them to make them easier to open. And some of them are fully shrink wrapped. So it's just depending on which one you get and not too bad of a box opening right there. Didn't tear up too much cardboard. All right, last one right here. All right, sweet. We ended off with an MJ from Spider-Man Far From Home. And that is pretty great. This is actually the one that came in the mystery mini that I was actually able to send to Pop Vids HQ and it was just a super awesome mystery mini. 
and definitely a very fitting one. So super cool that we were able to actually end off our four mystery minis with four different ones that we actually don't have in the collection because I actually have yet to get the MJ one. There was actually one that was actually open in the box already before we bought them, but they actually kept that one and I did not want to take that one. So we actually got ourselves our own MJ. We got ourselves a Spider-Man holding up the peace sign. We got ourselves the 1 in 72 Hydra Man, which is pretty cool and is definitely a pretty interesting part of the Spider-Man Far From Home story. And then we got ourselves the Peter Parker on his school trip, which is super spectacular and just super stoked. We didn't really get any doubles for this one other than the Spider-Man holding up peace sign, but I'm not really too upset about that because we pulled that one a long time ago and I was kind of figuring I might get a double at some point. So that is still a pretty cool one but yeah just super stoked we were able to go to our local comic book shop today and we were able to pick up all of these cool mystery minis we still have a few missing from the set but these guys will still look really nice up there next to the other spider-man ones but that is pretty much going to actually do it for today's video on the Spider Pops channel. Make sure to tune in this Thursday where hopefully we will be able to go pick up our pre-orders from GameStop and then go over the rest of the Emerald City Comic Con Pops that we got. Yeah, super stoked for the upcoming videos that are coming up on the channel. We just have a bunch of really cool stuff coming up to this next month or so. Make sure to go to JLH's live stream today at 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time because that should be a really awesome time and I will definitely be swinging by to say hello and hang out with some really awesome people in the Funko community so it should just be really awesome but that is going to do it for today's video on the Spider Pups channel hope you guys enjoyed it but yeah make sure you guys are staying safe out there staying frosty and having fun of course have an amazing rest of your day webheads Bye bye so ashamed of myself i didn't I, I didn't put on the torch monsters are gonna spawn now creepers zombies endermen everything i'm done for it's over